Look at this Motley crew. Oh, excuse me, JC. He says I'm hungry. <laughs> you got our breakfast going. It is loud in here. Best way. We got some corned beef hash. We got bacon, sausage, a French toast bake, and muffins. It's Teddy's you first have? Thanksgiving. Oh, nice. Happy Thanksgiving. Here's a, uh, He's a happy boy. I'm just cleaning all this out. We got the parade started. We and Michelle opening up. That's fancy. Oh my goodie fans. Who else is in the background? I like seeing the look at the dancers' faces. Okay. My mom would make this delicious juice concoction. Last year we failed because we got caramel apple cider. I failed. We were we went grocery shopping together. So this year, this is our our trio. These are done. And I think. Some of these sausages. Yeah. I, I like think. Chocolate. I think <laughs> the background commentary of this club. I think that ratio is on on par today. Oh hell yeah! Sorry. <laughs> it's warranted. It's kind of weird having the pride up here, but I like it. to today's ridiculous amount of food we eat is to constantly be cleaning, constantly be prepping the next thing. I'm gonna get a dessert going, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try my hand at making a pumpkin roll. We also have sausage going for the stuffing now while some of the kids are going out for naps. Christine and I cleaned up some of the dishes from part one of Food Extravaganza. And uh, I'm just waiting for Bluey to show up on this Macy's Day Parade. It's Bluey. You up from your it's nap? Bluey. Okay. Me and me and Vivi are doing some Lincoln logs. Okay. And this is the part of the vlog where we pray to the pumpkin roll gods that this doesn't crack while it cools. We're getting the dips right now. You guys know Thanksgiving we just eat all day long. This is a chorizo and cheese dip that'll have sour cream and um, cilantro. I'll link that recipe below. Then in here we have like a crescent roll, brie, raspberry jam, pull apart situation. We are, like I said earlier in the vlog, the key is to constantly Wash the clean. dishes. Yeah, uh, Judy's, it's almost Judy's, Judy's time to shine. Uh, it's almost time for me to make old fashions. Ooh. By old fashions, I mean like one from Just eight. for you. <laughs> I'm gonna have Grant try it. He might like it because I bought like a pre-mix. But I like to make them like very bare bone old fashions and I can have Grant try them in here. And he, he doesn't like whiskey. But he might like it with the pre-mix, like simple syrup. And then our other dips are Fiesta dip, which is a sour cream and a, a packet mixed in. And then this is going to be a cheese ball that's like a sweet one. So it's like cream cheese, orange juice concentrate cranberries and almonds all mixed together so that's got a cool so we can make it into a ball and then a few more i'm coming i'm coming i'm going down to make a house with bb a few more that don't need as much prep so those are nice and prepped and then we're going to get them all what time do we think we're going to do dips soonish 12 30. 12 30. let's go come on, come on. <laughs> okay let's build Get 
Cooper, okay? We need to make a tag. Poke, 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 <laughs> we're just reflecting yeah, on how want some dip. my mother would do everything on Thanksgiving and we're over here. Hey Beeps! <laughs> we're over here with three people <laughs> just <laughs> doing our best. Actually, we're killing it. We're killing it. I don't, I, I'm being overwhelmed. No? Like overly. Are you physically tired, anybody? I'm okay. All right. From working on this stuff. <laughs> not, not just, not general exhaustion. General exhaustion. There it goes. <laughs> But okay, so here's what we got. We got our chorizo and cheese zip. And Deviled egg. Peter worked on these Jimmy, last Jimmy, night. Jimmy makes me. Tradition. Yes. Tradition, it's so delicious. It's a block of cream cheese with cocktail sauce served on crackers. Oh, chocolate. oh really? The cranberry, the sweet cheese dip. Cranberry, what the heck is this called? Cheese ball. <laughs> cranberry cheese ball. Some chippies. Fiesta dip. Chicken. A little crescent brie. And a swirl snacky do. <laughs> what are you going to dip the. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> do that. <laughs> that would have been a travesty. <laughs> Those chips. Those are dirty. <laughs> <laughs> that is a gingerbread cookie. <laughs> Try it. But that's sweet. And you want a little, it you want little salty. Let's see how this turned out. Got a little more oozier than I remembered. Is it hot? It's so good. Mm. I love I'll link whatever like we have a a recipe for. I'll link. It. <laughs> All right, we got a bunch of little kids with us. Grant and I are on a mission to get butter, a ginger beer, pomegranate juice. All right. Chocolate. Oh yeah, and I promised violet chocolate because there's not enough sweets in the house Wait. already. Wait. I actually want. Okay. Peter's taking on a dessert my mom would make. Wouldn't always be a success. No matter what, it's gonna taste delicious, but it's cream cheese pumpkin roll. It's gonna be good. Peter, Peter needs to concentrate. I'm very stressed. The magic of Christmas lies in that pumpkin roll. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go toss it in the back fridge. And then we just have. Well, you cut it into like slices, right? Yeah, when we go to serve it, we want to chill it first. Wow. I'm gonna cry. I don't think it could have <laughs> been nice. better than it did. <laughs> Get him! friend Mary Alice brought over these really lovely cookies for us. There's so many. That was so nice of her. Did we already eat that many? Christina just made us little holiday drinks. Ginger beer. You think it's disgusting? Yeah. From the peanut gallery. Um, heart cherry juice, pomegranate seeds, cranberry juice. Did I say ginger beer? That's like the main ingredient. A little bit of rosemary. Delish. Teddy is napping right now. And Peter just left to do a stroller walk with James. It's the surefire way he'll fall asleep. Time is of the essence with Turkey Judy. Um, so they are gonna go now, and then he'll probably then he'll be done sleeping before before dinner time. But I just made a timeline of when we have to start everything else, like side dishes, 
and it's 1.45 now and we start at 3. So we have an hour and 15 to like get us ready. We're actually going to get out of our pajamas this Thanksgiving. So we have like an hour and 15 to get ready and then 3 o'clock is the, the dash to the finish. What are you doing, chickadee? <laughs> we plan on like finishing up like right around five. Come on. <laughs> How's the cookie? Huh? You be careful by those stairs. Oh my gosh, first round. How long has she been in? 30, 30 minutes. minutes. She's feeling good and ready. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna bark. <laughs> Christmas movies continue. We've got It's a Wonderful Life down here, over here. And down in the family room, we've got Santa no, Claus 2 yes. with Grant featuring the World Cup on his laptop. Okay, who wants to break it? Me! Christina's gonna go get herself ready for the yeah. evening. Teddy and I are on turkey duty. We yeah. just, Christina and I just did the, the next basting. We're about four bastings in. Two hours, almost two and a half hours, and we are anticipating like a four hour, just under four hour cook time around 4 p.m. finish, but then they'll give us like this to sit, and then we'll have um, like a 30, 40, 30 to 60 minutes to get everything else ready. So, really good on timing, kitchen's pretty clean, feeling good, feeling festive. Oh gosh. Alrighty, here's our stuffing. I will link the recipe we used below. And it says to cook for 65 minutes alongside Judy. Are you ready to peel some potatoes? Like your kin would? Let's peel some potatoes and get preparing on the mashed potatoes. Uh, we're now at the point where we're, we're taking the cheesecloth off. We're gonna baste it one more time. Her name's Judy. Which is gonna be great. And then we're gonna to toss her back in for another 30 minutes and make sure she's good on temp. We're gonna take her off. Is that actually cheese? Cheesecloth. I wanna do it in cheesecloth is a type of cloth. Oh. It's a cloth that they make cheese in. Oh, I thought it was made of cheese. Oh my Judy is a beauty. Christina points out. I, I tucked the herbs underneath the yeah, turkey yeah, it, was, it was all grand. While he was watching the World Cup, he managed to get a butter herb rub underneath her skin. I did nothing, everyone. Judy. I'm here for the ride. Judy, Judy. Okay. Judy, Judy booty. Looking nice. I'm so excited. It's better than last year. It's better than last year. <laughs> This is commercial status. You're not doing the same amount of time as the other things, right? All right, here's Judy. She is looking good. She's looking fierce. She's ready for dinner. She just needs to sit for a little bit, cool off. She's a little too spicy. And then we're gonna slice and dice her up. Judy looks better than last year's turkey. Yeah, she does. Good job, Christina. Thank you. Good job, Poppy. I couldn't have done it without you. Grant's ready for dinner in his outfit. Christina made me change. We're all changing, Grant. Don't worry, Grant. Screw you. Nobody told me that we were dressing nice until That's like 11.30 a.m. <laughs> so Sarah and Christina are in overdrive getting ready for the sides and everything. Sarah, what are you doing here? You got like it's, a uh, It's for Brussels Say sprouts. another thing at the same time. <laughs> One more time. Me and Christina keep jinxing each other. What are you talking about, Luca? James is still asleep. It's like a two hour nap for him. Really great. Yeah, it's good. Guys, Luca's here to say Judy is juicy and she's delicious and it's she did everything we needed her to do. And Luca has a muffin. <laughs> I forgot to do the traditional like time lapse of us eating dinner, but I think it was a success. We've already put away food, most of it. 
Desserts are out, let me show you those, but we also have like most of the dishes clean. I'm about to put the, the, the leftovers in their back garage fridge and we'll put our dishes, because like these were Mrs. Ryan's that we took. And like there's little pieces of the whole night that like we're divided amongst the daughters that like can't come together during Thanksgiving, which is always a little sweet. Um, but my pumpkin roll turned out so good. I'm so happy. So Jenna made some delicious cranberry cookies. Then there's the bang bang pie, bang bang pie pies of the ch chocolate pecan pumpkin. Jenna also bought a half pecan tradition. And then the pumpkin roll. It was delicious. I might eat like two, three, four, five more, six more slices. Thanksgiving with two little ones means we, out in the suburbs means we go home at a responsible time. So cars loaded up with leftovers, leftover desserts, containers. I think we have everything. I have a teddy back there. Sarah's gonna bring a Jamesy for here. Full car, but we are ready for a nice leisurely drive home. And hopefully these kids fall asleep. All right, I'm just about done putting all of our leftovers and everything away. I feel pretty good about it, but I want to show you this cookie because I'm not sure if we showed it earlier, but one of Mrs. Ryan's like, dearest best friends stopped by and visited earlier, which is always so sweet to see family friends, especially people so close with, with Sue. Um, she came by with a box of these really cute, just classic sugar cookies themed appropriately for the day. It was really nice seeing seeing her and just catching up for a little bit and also delicious cookies holidays like thanksgiving can be so funny and weird at times because like we have a couple of dishes i mentioned earlier that, that like we hold on to or have that we definitely can use throughout the year but that we don't like there's those chalices those drinks we were using those glasses they're like orangey yellow um we have them just up in our cabinet now year round we don't ever really use them except for thanksgiving same with like our turkey dish and our stuffing dish like i just think those things are like funny and quirky that like we have those items that we literally have and hold on to all year long just for that one day but it makes it feel special and, and unique especially ones that we've gotten from mrs ryan like the turkey dish and the chalices like they're sentimental and we have like a tablecloth that was hers and an apron as well that um are just very thanksgiving-y because sue ryan is thanksgiving just want to let you guys know that we are thankful for you guys as well and all these years following along with our journeys but it's late and it's been a long day of eating and preparing food and spending good family time together it's good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at walt disney productions <laughs>